Before the 2018 NFL Draft, there was a big possibility that USC quarterback Sam Darnold would have been taken first overall. Now, fast forward barely four seasons into his career, and after being traded to the Carolina Panthers, Darnold is looking like another first round bust. But how do we get to this point? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. I mean, obviously. However, before we get into that, make sure, as always, to leave a like on the video, share with anybody you want to, and subscribe to the channel, I'll greatly appreciate it. And if you're interested in anything I do outside of YouTube, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok at SportsPodCashly. So let's begin. So Sam Donald was a highly touted prospect coming into the 2018 draft. Despite having a down sophomore season with the Trojans, he was still considered a high QB prospect in this draft class. There were also a lot of reports and rumors stating that the Browns would have taken Donald first overall. But as we all know, that didn't happen. The Browns selected Baker Mayfield first overall, and Sam Donald was taken third overall by the New York Jets. So he's obviously off to a bad start. During his three-year tenure with the Jets, Donald was not good at all. He was severely underwhelming. But you know, there were a lot of reasons for why that could have been. You know, injuries, multiple head coaches and offensive coordinators, no real weapons to throw to or run game to speak of, a terrible offensive line. You know, say what you want, all of these excuses have some validity to it. Because at the end of the day, the Jets failed to put a competent roster around Donald to help him succeed. So did he play poorly in New York? Yeah, but could it have been due to piss poor roster surrounding him? I mean, yeah. So that's why when the Carolina Panthers traded for Donald, a lot of people, including myself, thought that this would be his opportunity to shine in the league and, you know, really live up to his hype and his potential. I mean, just think about it. He was going to a team that had a great wide receiver core, and he was also being reunited with one of his former teammates and wide receiver Robbie Anderson. You know, his bestie. Although, I don't think they're good friends anymore. He had a top 10 running back to work with in the league in Christian McCaffrey, if he could stay healthy. And he had a great defense on the other end. So, the situation looked like it was perfect for him. And it really did work out. I mean, for about three weeks at least. That's right, the Carolina Panthers got off to a 3-0 start this season. And Donald played pretty well. So then, you know, people started to be like, See, I told you so. He was good all along. He's in a great situation. He's a great player. Yada, yada, yada. And I'm not gonna lie, I believe the hype. But then Christian McCaffrey suffered an injury. And when he went out, it looked like he took all of Sam Donald's skills with him. You see, after their 3-0 start, the Panthers then proceeded to go on a 4-game losing streak. And after Week 9, their record sat at 4-5. In that humiliating Week 9 defeat to the New England Patriots, Donald suffered a right shoulder injury, which landed him on the injury reserve. So, he's out. And this gave the Carolina Panthers the perfect excuse to re-sign their golden boy, quarterback Cam Luther. Ah, nostalgia. Human's second biggest weakness. So in the Panthers next game versus the Cardinals in week 10, and with Darnold watching from the sidelines, or at home, I actually have no idea where he was for that game, Cam Luton ran for and threw a touchdown on his first two plays of the game. Oh, and he also got called for unsportsmanlike conduct. So with Donald out injured, again, it really begs the question that if he returns at some point during this season, would the Panthers start him again? Or have they seen enough from him? And I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't think they would. I honestly think that they're beginning to regret giving up assets and trading for Sam Donald. Not to mention picking up his 5th year option on his contract. Now look, I'm well aware that Matt Rule and Joe Brady's offense isn't the most creative thing around. Their O-line is horrible, and Donald also leads all quarterbacks in drop passes. 
but I'm honestly just fed up of making excuses for this guy. The situation he's in right now is 10 times better than anything he had in New York. And the fact that he's putting up identical numbers to his tenure there is just mind boggling. Not to mention, he also leads the league in interceptions thrown, despite only playing 9 games. Fun fact, he's actually top 10 in interceptions thrown and each of the 4 seasons he's played, he's bottom 10 in QBR, bottom 10 in completion percentage, and the cherry on top of this cake of ineptitude is that he has the third worst quarterback rating in the NFL and the only two people below him are rookie quarterbacks. <sighs> really sums up everything, huh? So yes, I am officially off the Sam Donald bandwagon. I know it's taken me a lot longer than most people but I really did think that he would have a Ryan Tannehill-esque kind of resurgence after he got out of Adam Gase's shadow. But he's no Tannehill. I've never seen Sam Donald do a piss poor finger roll after he ran it for a touchdown. It sucks to say, but barring any miraculous resurgence next season or further down in his career, I think Sam Donald is officially a bust. He didn't get off to a good start in the league, went to a bad organization that didn't put anything around him, and that stick stayed with him probably wherever he goes from now. He could be a solid backup, but I don't think he would be the generational or transcendent quarterback that some people thought he might be. But what do you guys think about Sam Donald? And do you think that the Carolina Panthers regret trading for him? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Later.